Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. This is the print and place car that was created by Speedy Machines. I am upgrading, changing, and adjusting, so let's get cracking. First, if you've aligned it like this, make sure you grab it, rotate it 90 degrees. If you stay inside the circle, it is super simple. Then hit D to drop. I want to modify the body, and I'm going to upgrade the wheels. So I'm going to click on the body, and I'm going to do shift nudge. One, two, three, four, five. What that does is it moves it away so I can work on both pieces without breaking anything. I'm going to ungroup this, and you can see those are all of the parts. I ungrouped it all the way, so now I can group it in one chunk when I'm done. So I'm going to hide these big cuts. All right, friends, so here are the issues I'm finding. My roof is not sturdy enough, so I'm going to back that up to 6.75. Notice it shrank down the way I want, so that's perfect. I'm also going to go back here. If I do F to fit view, this piece has not been strong enough in between there. So I'm going to take this measurement where it says 2.29. I'm going to just make it 2, but I'm also going to use the arrow key to nudge that up so that it's got a little more distance between those two parts. I like the idea, but it just wasn't strong enough. I've got my nudge set to 0.1, so I'm just doing little nudges between them. And now I think I like that. This is going to be a stronger roof. That's going to be a stronger part, because the main thing is I want these to look really awesome when they're done. As you can see, I added my Get Kraken text. Uh, this is going to have to get cut second, so I'm going to hide that. And now, friends, I can select all of these and group them. Notice that edge will cut pretty darn neat. You do have to be patient as they group. Now I can do Show All. I can cut in my Get Kraken, and I can change those edges. Once again, select them all and hit Group. And by doing this, I also made sure I did not cut up my axles as I played around. Double checking, that looks pretty strong, strong. I think this is gonna be a much better version of my car. You can also see I added a sweet grill up in front as I keep playing with it. Friends, let me take you to my wheel mod. So this is the old wheel, but if you ungroup it, I switched to the triangle. I chose point inside, and then I did alt shift to get it to the exact size I want, and I think that's an even cooler wheel than I had before. Of course, once I grouped those, I duplicated and placed them in both spots so that they're ready to roll. I did add one other item. Check it out. I put three cylinders in here, and the cylinders run between from spot to spot. That way, when it goes through my 3D printer, it's a little bit stronger print. If we hit T, you can see it's going to build the outside of this, but then it's also going to build those three cylinders in there. Do make sure when you're done, of course, that you still have everything aligned with the wheels. Pop, pop, pop. That was good. I'll double check this just in case I had it off. Nope, you can see those are perfect. Friends, now I am ready to bring it back to the printer, and all I have to do is do shift nudge, making sure it's at one millimeter, and doing it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. All lined up and ready for 3D printing. Friends, I hope you're having a ton of fun modding these. Once again, I want to thank Speedy Machine for making the original design. And if you haven't seen those other tutorials, I'll make sure there are links to them up above. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.